Hi guys, in this video I will demonstrate how to run a search in Backendless database for objects based on the geographic area. I know it sounds kind of confusing, so let me demonstrate this to you visually. I'm switching to the data screen and here I have a table called World Cities. There are 503 objects in this data table and these are some of the largest cities in the world. Uh, in this table, I do have a column called location. The type of that column is point, and it contains the GPS coordinates of each city that I have in this database. There is a visualized checkbox that when it's, in, when it's turned on, there is a map that displays the pins for each object that I have currently on the screen. So is, if I were to page through this data set, then the pins are updated because I have a different set of objects displayed uh, on the screen. Uh, it, it makes it kind of fun if you were to sort it by country and then zoom out completely. Then as I page you will see that the pins are kind of moving around to show the country that I currently have on the screen. So here uh, most of the cities or if not all the cities are here in China therefore all the pins are concentrated in China. So this is uh, just the behavior of the visualize. However, what I wanted to show you in this video is how to use a geographic area on the map to run the searches. And to do this, Backendless Console has a cool feature that is called map-driven navigation. And the way map-driven navigation works is when you click on this checkbox, then the map itself drives the actual search in the database. So here, if I were to start zooming in on the United States, then I get the data that is only uh, applicable to the geographic area that is currently uh, I have on the screen. So here, in this case, since I have uh, a little bit of Canada, a little bit of Mexico in the United States, then this is the search that is executed against the database. And exactly the same search you can do from your application. And to do this, we automatically pre-calculate a where clause, which you see right here. This is uh, the string. So when you click on it, uh, the value is copied into the clipboard. And you can switch to REST console. Uh, and from here, you can just paste that value into the section that is called where. And when you click get, it runs an API request, which is... Uh, fetching all the data for the geographic area that you have defined in the map. Of course, in your application, you would be calculating the, uh, the region of the map uh, dynamically. So for instance, uh, if, you're, if your users of your application are running a search within the geographic area that they define, you would need to get the coordinates. But using this approach, you can see exactly how we calculate those coordinates, how we calculate that where clause, and you can do exactly the same thing. And then calculation of this where clause is actually quite straightforward. So I'm switching back to data browser. And uh, notice that uh, on the map in the upper uh, left corner and then in the lower right corner we show the coordinates of these two points which are directly opposite of each other and then the coordinates of these two points are actually used to calculate this where clause so there is really not a lot of magic here but uh, by putting all these things together it will make it easier for you to calculate this kind of where clause so you can start using it in your application I hope you found this useful thank you and as always happy coding